Okay, so I don't like this year's egg hunt. I tried to like it, but I don't. And that's coming from someone who has completed the egg hunts every year for the past three years, multiple times on multiple accounts. This year's egg hunt just isn't fun. So I'm making this video in hopes that some developers and employees at Roblox see this so they can fix the problems that this year's egg hunt has. I also want to say real quick that I have the most utmost respect to the developers and people at Roblox. You know, I personally know a lot of them and they're all amazing people. I know they worked really hard on this and I'm sure the you know, entire Roblox community appreciates it, but unfortunately there's still a lot of things to be improved upon. So let's get started. I'm also going to be using the 2018 egg hunt as a way to compare this year's egg hunt simply because most regard it as the best egg hunt Roblox has ever done. So with that out of the way, here we go. Let's start off with the story. In 2018, we had an epic story with awesome, memorable characters and some pretty epic villains. This story spanned across numerous worlds and involved us, the players, trying to regather all the eggs that were stolen in order to prevent the entire universe from collapsing in on itself. It gave us, the players, a reason to capture each egg other than, you know, hey, it looks pretty cool as a hat on my avatar. It gave us a reason to care about the eggs. This year's egg hunt has no story. There isn't one. Despite Roblox advertising this year's egg hunt as a spy-themed egg hunt with us being secret agents going on secret missions, there's literally none of that in the actual games. Out of all 49 games that the eggs are in, only one of them actually had anything to do with spies. It's pretty disappointing, but you know, let's move on. In 2018, we had an epic hub and lobby area where players could show off their eggs, talk to each other, and look at all the eggs they collected, along with where they collected them from and when they collected them. It was cool to see your egg collection slowly filling up in front of you as you collected the eggs, and you know, you were able to show them off to other players too. In this year's egg hunt, there is no hub or lobby. The only thing similar to the hub is this avatar item you can equip from the catalog that shows you which games the eggs are in. That's it. It's just flat images on a screen. Not to mention that this avatar item doesn't even work in all the egg hunt games. Also, and this is a big also, but it literally tells you how to get every egg in every game. There is no challenge, it just tells you how to get them. But, you know, again, let's move on. In 2018, we had an epic soundtrack. Like, literally, just listen to this. It's amazing, right? In this year's egg hunt, here is the soundtrack. You're not hearing anything because there isn't one. There is no official soundtrack. So not only is there not a story, there's also no hub, and there's also no soundtrack. But, you know, okay, let's let's move on to the actual gameplay because that's what really matters here. So the 2018 egg hunt introduced some pretty cool new mechanics that were never seen before on Roblox. Your player could double jump, slide on walls, wall jump, roll, along with some pretty other epic movement mechanics. They were amazing. Not to mention that each world you traveled to had its own unique mechanic to it, like flying this plane in this giant carnival world. And the most important thing is that all the worlds had the same mechanics. Once you learned them, that was it. You could use these gameplay mechanics in every part of the egg hunt. This year's egg hunt, though, has no new mechanics. There's nothing new in any of the Roblox games that we've never seen before on Roblox. In Build a Boat, you just build a boat, like you've always been able to do. In Playing Crazy, you just build a plane, like you've always been able to do in that game. Some games you can fly, some games you can't. Each game has entirely different mechanics that you have to learn. And that leads me to my main issue with this year's egg hunt. You literally have to learn how to play 49 different games that you've probably never played much of before and will probably never play much of again just to get the eggs. Let me break down what happened to me this time. I, I don't like simulator games. I just, I, I don't. I find simulator games pretty boring. If you like simulator games though, that's great and I'm glad, but I just, I, I don't like simulator games. So in order to get the egg located in Bee Swarm Simulator, I had to spend about 20 minutes trying to figure out how the game works and then spend another 10 minutes actually doing the egg challenge. Repeat this for every single game. In playing crazy, I had to learn how to build the plane, something I immediately never used again. And in build a boat, I had to learn how to build a boat, something I never used again in the entire egg hunt. I spent 10 minutes learning how to do this, and I never used it once again. This leads into my next problem. The eggs aren't even really challenging to get, and they feel like giant advertisements for each game rather than an actual egg hunt. Let me explain. So in order to get the build a boat egg, you literally just play the game like normal. You build a boat, except you put a special egg in your boat. And then you sail down the river just like you normally do in the game. And then a dragon literally just gives you the egg. 
That's it. In Adopt Me, you just hatch an egg. Something you literally do every single day in Adopt Me. It's nothing new. There's no gameplay, new mechanics or anything. In Plane Crazy, you just build a plane to fly up, which is what you do in that game anyway. It's, it's not new. You do it all the time in those games. And this leads me into my final issue and my biggest issue uh, of them all gameplay wise. So many of the eggs in this year's egg hunt involve you waiting and doing nothing for very long periods of time. Take Epic Minigames for example. The only way to get the egg in Epic Minigames is to wait on a specific map to spawn and then maybe, just, just maybe, just maybe, you'll get the egg. If you don't, guess what? You have to wait for that map again. It literally took my friend two hours of waiting just to get this egg. And I don't know about you, but waiting for two hours is not fun. I also want to throw this in here too, but you can literally buy game passes in certain games that give you advantages and make some games easier to get the eggs. Some game passes give you increased movement speed or flight, or some even let you increase the chance you'll get the egg. It's pay to win and it creates an unfair playing field for all players. Rich players will just buy all the game passes and make the egg hunt super easy, and poor players will have to grind harder. It's just, it's not fair. Compare all of this to the 2018 egg hunt, you know, where you actually got the eggs by just playing the game. There was no secret gameplay game pass you could buy that would make the eggs have an increased spawn chance. There was no waiting for eggs for two hours. There was no RNG or luck involved. You just solved the challenges. You solved the puzzles. You did the activity and then you got the eggs. It was fair for everybody. So yeah, that's why I don't like this year's egg hunt. Maybe you agree, maybe you disagree. That's okay too, but I just hope some of this feedback can be taken into account in order to make the next egg hunt better. And of course, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Now, something else I've been thinking about that I wanted to throw in here, and to any Roblox devs watching this, I want to propose something. We're all inside of a quarantine right now, and the world is on pause, and everybody is in their house. And the player base of Roblox has literally doubled. It's been doubling, it's been growing like crazy. There's tons of new Roblox players. I think now would be an amazing time to re-enable the 2017 and the 2018 egg hunts. Extend the egg hunt by a week and relaunch the 2017 and 2018 egg hunts. This would give Roblox players something more to do egg hunt related. It would let new players who didn't get to experience those egg hunts the ability to do so, and it would just be fun. And yes, those games still work just fine. The badges all work, the gameplay all works. All Roblox has to do is re-enable the eggs. And I mean, think of how epic that would be. The final week of April, just a giant race through the 2017 and 2018 egg hunts for nostalgia purposes and for new players. Just just think about it, just, just an idea. But anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you guys haven't yet. Keep using star code RealCrete when you're buying Roblox or Roblox Premium. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.